hey y'all welcome to my channel journey to happiness um please like comment and subscribe so i'm gonna get right to the point this video is going to be about um the pros and cons of working every weekend um so in the nursing world or in a, the healthcare world there's this thing called a baylor shift where you can work like every weekend and be off during the week um, some people do like three twelves during the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or some people do doubles. Um, so you can do it different ways. Right now, I work every weekend. Um, I've done this before, and for the most part, I like my work schedule, working every weekend. I know most people would hate a schedule like that because people, most people love being off on the weekends. But um, for right now, it works for me. So, um, yeah, I just want to tell y'all my pros, the pros and cons of having a schedule like that. So, um, the first pro that I have is more money. Um, so a lot of places, a lot of nursing homes and hospitals will give you more pay on the weekends. Like it could be anywhere from 75 cents to two or three, four dollars, depending on your position and you know what they choose, how much they choose to give you so that's a big pro um not all places do that but some do where they'll give you more money um for working it every weekend i think one time i um i was working at this nursing home um and they gave me like 20 percent my pay increased um to 20 percent. so they call it baylor shift and if you work baylor shift um you get 20 percent more pay so yeah so the second pro that I have is less crowds. I mean, like, you know, when you're out doing your shopping, going to Walmart, Target or whatever um, during the week, especially in the morning time, it's just a lot less people around because a lot of people are at work. Um, I think that's the best time if you hate crowds and stuff. The best time to do like your grocery shopping and stuff like that, go to Walmart or whatever, is like early in the morning. It's the best time to go. You can be in and out um so you know if you go when a lot of people go like on a friday afternoon or saturday or sunday afternoon um especially if you live in a small town like me it's like the whole town is in walmart or the whole town is in the grocery store is hella packed um everybody's in there it's so crowded i get anxiety like that too because i i like to just go in and out of stores and it seems like you know when it's crowded like that the one item that I'm trying to get, somebody is just standing there right in front of it. And I'll be waiting for them. I'm patiently waiting for them to look and then make their selection and move. But they just be standing there forever and ever and ever. And so it's so annoying. So, um, yeah, less crowds when you're trying to, you know, get your run your errands and stuff. Um, less traffic. It's a lot less traffic um, during the week versus you know the weekend um everybody's out um you can get everything done during your week you know if you need to go to the doctor if you need to get your oil change if you need to go to some kind of appointment you can get all of that done during the week you don't have to worry about trying to get somebody to cover your shift or you know taking the day off work using pto time none of that you can get your stuff done during the week um there's a lot of people i know that um go to school during the week like they work every weekend and then they go to school during the week so they can focus on school and i think that's like if you're in school especially if you're in school full-time i think like that's the best schedule to have is to work on every weekend and be off during the week because i just for me it's rough like sitting in class all day and then i gotta go straight to work or work then i go straight to class like i rather work on the weekends and then go to class during the week but that's me um because it's like you can just you know focus on people that have to work from i think it's just easier to you know it's easier to separate your work and school life that way you know what i'm saying like basically like i'll be in the mindset like okay during the week i'm a student that's all i am during the week is a so when i'm at work i just make my money on the weekend so yeah 
let's see no management um most of the time uh on the weekends there's a lot less management there like for me my d d o n is not there during the weekend my um unit manager is not there during the weekend so it's It's less tense. Um, it's more, you know, more laid back. Um, another pro is you could take like a mini vacation during the week. For me, um, I do work Mondays. So I work every um, Saturday, Sunday, and every Monday. And I do doubles every other Saturday between both jobs. And, um... Like last year, um, did I have a schedule last year? I don't remember. But um, like I go to the beach for a few days or take a road trip or something, and I don't have to, you know, um, request no PTO time or you know get somebody to cover my shift or anything like that. So that's, I think that's very flexible and really nice. You could take a mini vacation without using a lot of PTO time or without using any PTO time. Um. I think that's all the pros that I got. Um, I already said more laid back. So we're going to get into the cons of working every weekend. So I have, um, you miss out on a lot of social events because, you, you know, when you think about it, weddings, um, parties, you know, uh, football games, anything like that, nine times out of ten, that's going to be during the weekend. So I feel like if you're a person that has like a big social group, you like to do a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, with your friends and stuff, working every weekend probably wouldn't work for you because you're going to um, miss out on a lot uh, working every weekend. So, yeah, you miss out on a lot so a social events. Um, the second con I have is um, harder to date. I think it is a lot harder to date if you're a person that works every weekend because most people, you know, work during the weekend or off on the weekend. So when you're trying to date somebody and trying to, you know, especially when you're first getting to know them, it's hard to make that time. If they work a regular job, you know, the normal work hours. Um, I remember a while back I was talking to this one guy and I don't think he was all there because... He was saying, "Oh, you want to get up? You want to get together on Sunday?" And I told him, "Oh, I work um on Sundays." And y'all know what he said? He said, "Oh, are you sure you ain't seeing somebody else? Cause you know nobody really works on a Sunday." <coughs> he said, "Nobody works on a Sunday." So what about the hospital, the nurses, the doctors? the patient care techs, respiratory therapists, there has to be somebody there on a Sunday, right? If you go to the ER on a Sunday, you isn't somebody going to be there? They're all working. So what do you mean people don't work on Sundays? The When you go out to eat on a Sunday, who, what are you talking about? Like, but I think he was so used to dating women that, you know, work Monday through Friday or, or the, you know, he was so used to dating women that are available every weekend that he I don't know I guess he didn't believe me I don't know <laughs> but um yeah I think it's a lot harder to date if you work um every weekend unless you just happen to be lucky and meet somebody that happens to work every weekend as well but you know <laughs> um and I was talking to someone he was like he was like yeah you know if you do have a boyfriend, you know, it would be a lot easier, you know, if you had like a regular work schedule, you know, your boyfriend probably wants to see you on a weekend. It's easier to make plans with your boyfriend. Um, for right now, I'm not trying to date nobody anyway where I'm at in my life, but, you know, um, eventually maybe, you know, I will want a regular work schedule. So, I can date, you know what I'm saying? But for me, like, it is difficult, um, you know, dating when you work every weekend because it's like nobody 
has my schedule <laughs> that nobody that I come across as far as dating wise ever has the schedule that I have. So if we try to make plans, it's like, we just don't, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Cause they, essentially if they're off on every weekend, that's when they really want to see me, you know? So I'm not trying to date. Like I said, I'm not trying to date right now. No way. But when I do, um, I'll probably, my schedule will probably change. But anyway, um, I got harder to plan a vacation with friends or family. Um, cause nine times out of 10, if you planning a vacation with like a group of people or even just one other person, they're going to want to go on, um, the weekends. So it's just difficult. Um, cause you know, you have to, if you want to try, you try to find your own coverage, you know, X around your coworkers, see if somebody wants to work for you, but that's very hard to do for a weekend. Cause most people ain't going to work a weekend for you. Um, so yeah, it's hard to plan stuff like a vacation or girls trip or whatever. It's difficult. Um, I put, you have to take off for occasions. Just like recently I had two friend rules I had to go to and I had to let them know that I can't come in. I tried to find my own coverage the first time, but, um, uh, nobody wanted to cause, and they literally said, we're sorry, um, but my coworkers was like, but it's the weekend, so nobody wanted to work for me. Because they want their weekend, you know, to themselves, which I understand. But luckily, my job is pretty cool. Um, so all I did was uh, I text my schedule lady both times that it happened. And she was just like, okay, thanks for letting me know. Sorry about your loss. So luckily, she, you know, cool and stuff. But um, if there's some kind of special occasion, even like a wedding or anything, um, you you're probably not going to find anybody to work for you or you're going to be hard. So it's just, I don't like to call off for work. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's hard. So it's, you have to take off work. Um, let's see. The last one I have is more short staff. Um, lots of times on the weekend, it, it, it can be short staff. It can be short staff during the week too, but it's more likely to be short staff on the weekend. And you know, if you have one or two people that call out on the weekend, it's damn near impossible, almost impossible, to get somebody last minute to come in on a Saturday or Sunday. Like who, who wants to last minute? If your manager calling you to my, can you come in to work? Such and such called out. Come on now, who gonna come in? Every once in a while, somebody might come, but it, it, that's very difficult. You know what I'm saying? To get somebody to come in last minute like that on a Saturday or a Sunday, even a Friday. So lots of times on the weekends, um, it's more short staff, which makes my job harder. But um, those are all the pros and cons that I could I could think of. Um, well, another one that I could, a pro that I could think of is if you are taking like a mini vacation during the week the hotel rooms are cheaper i noticed the hotel rooms are a lot cheaper during the week versus the weekend so that's another pro so i have a question for y'all that work a regular you know work a regular nine to five type of job where you work strictly monday through friday nine to five or eight to five or whatever or have you ever had a job like that before so i i think i would like those hours but i question so when do y'all like run your errands like when do y'all go to the doctor when do y'all get your oil changed and stuff like that it's really important do y'all just like leave are you able to leave work early for a day like that or you just let your manager know and they let you take off like how does that work for people that work strictly nine to five monday through friday let's say you need to see like about your car or something like how does that work in your schedule i'm just i'm curious i'm very curious um, cause I've, I've never worked like a nine to five Monday through Friday, you know, so I don't, I'm just wondering how does that work? Well, let's say I need to get my oil changed or I need to go to the doctor. You know what I'm saying? How does that work? So that's today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.